All right, so uh, a lot of things have actually changed within the past few days of me working. Um, it's been kind of painful. I haven't had much time to like really upload anything. The development has been going really well, though. Um, we added a few things, so now when using abilities, you cannot open your skill menu for while abilities are active or you're in combat. So skill menu is now disabled if you're in combat. And we added two new abilities, actually. I'm going to show the lesser one first. This one's called Corrupt Blow. Um, it's pretty unique compared to the other sword skills as it can actually cause explosions to happen and it inflicts some wither. Um, and it is quite powerful. It emits a purple aura before firing and upon firing it shoots a little like a purple sword slash. And as you can see, I cannot open my menu right now. I'm attempting to and it will not allow me to. Now it does. Um, you can increase the size of the explosion by increasing power. It does cap the explosion at a size of 30, though, but that is larger than the magic explosion cap, so it is pretty, still pretty OP. Um, sure, the ability is sweet. You can change the size of it and stuff. But honestly, I didn't think it was enough for, for a showcase video, so I'm going to show you the next one. This one was honestly really fun to make and was really sick. Valhalla's Retribution. This ability was probably the one of the best ones I've made so far besides Sword Rain. Um... But here's a quick look at it. As you can see, we get a gate that opens, and we fire off a nice blue sword. And it's just, it's beautiful, okay? It's so like, in first person, this is what it looks like. Um, activating. And you cannot move for the duration of it, but it is quite powerful, as you can see. And we can also change the size of this bad boy. So, like, say we want size of 4. Oh my gosh, just absolutely massive. Just slices through that pig. Um, as you can see, it's also fairly unique as it does cause explosion damage as well. So compared to other abilities, it's actually really, really sick. But um, we can also increase the explosion by increasing the power. And then the skill output will also increase the AoE. So you can create like something quite powerful here. And as you can see, we won't take any damage from it as is it, it is our own ability. So... It doesn't inflict any damage to the player with that explosion, which is pretty nice. Um, took a while to get that to work properly. <laughs> and, of course, the biggest size, size 5. Although, I have not figured out a way to change the size of the gate. Um, it is an animated entity, and it is kind of difficult to change the size of the gate. But here's what the gate looks like upon activation, and what the player will look like. And then it will activate. Um, honestly, absolutely magnificent. I just... I love the look of it, how it works. It worked better than I thought it would. Um, this thing was a pain to animate. I'm going to be honest with you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little uh, sneak peek for the day. And I'll see you when I add the final two abilities. Or no, the, the next one and then the final one. Uh, yeah, you'll get to look forward to those. I'll see you guys later. And if you uh, liked, I hope you keep following up with this. Because this is going to get kind of crazy in the nearby future. Anyways, peace out.